Let's move on to DingTalk. So DingTalk is an enterprise-focused communication platform, and it's where we do everything to do with any sort of communication in our company. We absolutely require it so that we're able to keep in touch with all of our teachers, our admin, trainers, TLs. So today what we're going to do is install DingTalk both on your computer and on your mobile phone. Very important that we have it on both because on your computer is where you're going to be using it most, of course, but on your phone, it's going to be your backup to make sure that if anything happens to your computer, your internet drops out, it crashes, it explodes, you're going to have it on your phone and you're going to be able to let us know if you can make it to training, to class, to anything, and whether or not we have to reschedule or book a sub teacher appropriately. It's also very important to note that when you're registering for DingTalk, you use your full name, first and last name. So no nicknames, please. It makes it really difficult for us trainers and admins and TLs to find you afterwards on DingTalk when we're trying to add you to groups or communicate with you. You can have your student call you anything you want in your own classroom, but for us on DingTalk, it's going to have to be your full name. And also just make sure that you create a password that's easy to remember. So this isn't given to the company. We can't help you out if you forget your password. So I have a nifty little passwords login book to take note of everything from VIPX to anything personal and keep it in something like that or keep it somewhere else that's safe because if you forget it, uh, you're going to have to just reset it and it's just a hassle you can otherwise easily avoid. All right. And finally, um, you're going to eventually join our organizational group. So here, this isn't going to happen today or during our session. It's going to be during your first live training day. So your trainer in that day is going to give you a link and it's going to join you to our company's organization for TAL. So it might prompt you after you complete your registration to create one on your own, but you don't have to do this. You can just join TALS later on. So once you're joined with our link to come into our organization, that means that we'll be able to add you to your batch group. And from there, you'll have contact with everybody in the company. So you can get in touch with us trainers more easily, etc. So now let's take a look at how to install DingTalk. And I'm going to do a quick walkthrough for you for your computer version and help you by giving some tips on how to get it on your phone. So let's take a look at that without further ado. First thing you're going to want to do is to open up your web browser. So I have Google open in Google Chrome and I do recommend Chrome for many things, including later on registering for your DingTalk account with our organizational group. But for now, you can use whichever browser you're most comfortable with. And then when you're ready, just put DingTalk into the search bar or for even more specific results, DingTalk download. But as you can see, download is gonna show up right away anyway for me. So you click on the download section, it brings you straight to the page where you can download the exe file to download that. And you're going to see you have options for either Mac or for Windows. So depending on your operating system, you can choose the one that's appropriate for you. I'm currently on a Windows system, so I'm going to ch click that and do the walkthrough using that. And as you can see, it's going to appear in this bottom bar and it should not take very long for it to download. So you can just give it a second and wait for it to complete. And when it's completed, you can just click this little up bar over here and either click open or show in folder. I'm just going to go ahead and open it because that makes it even easier. And here, as you can see, it's going to launch the program setup right away. So you can just give it a second for it to wait and do its thing. And very shortly, it will lead you through the installation process. Now, if it asks you if you want to allow this app to make changes here to your device, you can just click yes. So that is um, pretty basic. It's just going to lead you through the install and the changes that's going to make is just to add it to your application list. And then once it has finished unpacking its data, then it's going to bring up this DingTalk setup window. And all you have to do is click next, 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 and it will bring you through the installation process. So I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to go through this process now, but it is very step-by-step -step and you can always ask us trainers if you have any difficulty with the installation process. Now, once it is finished being installed, then you can launch the program and it's going to request that you either sign in or sign up. 
So you don't probably have an account already, so you're going to hit the sign up button. So once you do that, you're going to put in your full name, that's where you put your first and last name, and after your phone number. And it'll have to be a mobile phone number, make sure you change the area code for it, and you're going to have to get a text message that's sent to you, and then input the number that's given there to complete your registration process. This just verifies your account and it ensures that your information is protected. So once you do that, then you will have completed your registration process and that's all you need to do for now. So like I said, on day one of live training, we're gonna give you a little link and that's going to have you join this organizational folder that we have that links all of the members in our company together. So um, don't create one of your own. Don't worry about not seeing anyone or trying to add us as contacts. Everything will be taken care of during day one. So now we have DingTalk installed successfully on your computer, and now we're going to have to get it onto your mobile phone. So if you have an Android, then you can go to the Play Store. If you have an iPhone, then go to the Apple Store. And either way, if you click on your related store and then type in DingTalk, then it's going to come up as the application that you can install very easily. So it's not going to take you any more than 5-10 seconds, just to hit install and then you're going to have it on your phone. Now once it's on your phone, you're going to be able to do things like add a profile picture. So this is very simple as a walkthrough. So you're going to go to your main hub page and you see at the bottom you have these five options. So you're going to click me at the bottom. And when you do that, you're going to see your profile come up real quick. So this uh, will probably not be a super cute photo with an adorable cat on top of it. It will probably just be a generic little head and shoulders. So you're going to click that and it's going to bring you to my profile. And when you click that little head and shoulders, it's going to prompt you to change or add a profile picture. And then it will bring up your gallery in your phone where you can locate a picture of yourself that you think is appropriate to use. So once that's done, maybe you also want to go back and edit your name. Let's say you didn't properly enter your full name or you made a mistake, whatever it happens to be. So it's the same process as what you did for your profile picture just about. You're going to click me at the bottom of your homepage and then go to your profile. And when you get to your profile, just instead of clicking profile picture, you click your nickname, which is right below. And it will open up over here and you can just key in what is the correct version of your name, whatever that happens to be, first and last name. So that's what you can do to set up your profile in the beginning to make it easy for us to find you and to just get to know some of the features right from the get-go. So for now, let's take a look inside DingTalk. Right now, you probably don't have any contacts or groups available to you on the far left side of the screen, but once you join, you're going to be added to this VIPX new teacher training form. So over here, it's going to be just basically the hub of where you're added before we put you into your batch group. As you can see at the bottom here, this group is muted, so you can't actually write anything or send anything in this group. It's just a conduit for us to find you and then add you elsewhere. So. Like I said, that will be done during day one. That link will be provided to you, and we do it this way because it just makes it easier if there's any troubleshooting or you have difficulty to make sure that we're all on the same page and we get you where you need to be. But exploration is fun, so why don't we go through DingTalk together and explore some of the different features, such as navigating groups, locating shared files, searching your history, signing in and out as promised, and finally, how to use the Ding Drive, because it is very important for you to familiarize yourself with this as soon as possible. So let's go.